Yeah, and it, and one of the nice things too, uh, I'm sure that some people already know this, right? But you do have Corn. I believe Corn has a frame eight dash shield. Yeah, right? yeah. So, I saw that. yeah. So like, really, really phenomenal for that character. So, despite the character not being extremely fast and having this extreme dash in tandem with that it's like you can dash more regularly with the character right you can in and uh be in a safe space right and transverse so it's really cool to know that and see those kind of nuances which allows like allows cosmos movement to be something that is uh impactful and reasonable right and efficient it's not just oh he's just moving you do whatever and then i if i see him moving i just pop him in the face like no he has frame eight shield bro so it's like he can have that kind of option so it's again really cool to see uh this matchup is going to be very interesting of course you know when you're going to have that kind of range luigi's going to very much struggle uh, especially with the kind of edge guarding game that can be done and in the tandem pending buff that came on the corn spare. I'm um, eager to see what Junior is going to do with this kind of pressure that we've seen from the Cosmos. Yeah, very uphill battle, I would say, for uh, Luigi. Especially, uh, Cosmos knows this match pretty well, too. Nice, first time going up against Luigi, but oh my god, even without the sweet spot, still going to kill there. That was like a hard read to go for too, so early in like the match. He's yeah. just playing very confident already. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely was aware that a lot of times from uh, Junior, you would see him either go for a regular get up. Uh, but he goes for like, a lot of the similar timings. Like he instantly kind of comes back on stage, and so he usually goes for like, a regular get up or a roll. And uh, you know, Cosmos is gonna punish it there, so good stuff by him. Look at that pressure on that shield. Yeah, it seems... Kamos is, like, positioning his aerial so well, too. Like, it seems very difficult, but... Nice. No tech. I don't think Kamos is just used to people even, like, challenging his LB and winning. So... <laughs> he just doesn't even tech. But, yeah, I was, uh, I was very surprised. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, the, the way Kamos is positioning his aerials on shield... Very safe. It seems very difficult to get like a decent punish if he does it right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I like this cause most he's staying he like stay on that platform and being cautious here. He recognizes the uh, oh. encounter. That is free. Dot com. I forgot he had that. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot he could he had a, a easy kill on Luigi's forced mm -hmm. side B. Yeah. And now this is gonna be rough because for Junior says, Cosmos is out of those kind of kill ranges, so he's gonna have to find some general combos or setups here. And Cosmos is free now, just gonna get away, he's gonna have to do a shield. Um, almost dies there by that up smash and stuff by Junior, but it's not enough. Now you have all of this. I thought he was just gonna go, oh, oh this time. Wow. Yeah, not gonna get any time. Alright, we'll take it. Uh, I don't want to run at him. <laughs> never oh, good. I, the crap. The crap. I like it. I like it. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't get the I second see. spike. Unfortunate. Yeah, you know, it's so funny because I'm not surprised because Junior loves his, uh, like, wavelands. He loves, loves his wavelands. Yeah. Wow. Uh, every single time. And uh, I love those great lines. You gotta yeah. it, man. You gotta, you gotta have that clutch factor. And so Cosmos is gonna get that one on the board, but very, very close showing by JR. Yeah, I know Cosmos was sweating when he got grabbed at zero. Because mm -hmm. uh, he was playing so well and then he got, he finally got grabbed. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one definitely got the blood pumping, dude. I'm for sure. So let's see. Good stuff there by Junior. Um, let's see what his uh, what the changes are going to be. What are the adaptations going into game two? Because usually this is where you see the the distance emerge, right? The disparity emerge. Three, two, one, go! A lot of people are liking uh, Smash Bros. since Cosmos. Yeah, right? I'm surprised. I guess he's really good on all the other stages, too. Like, I don't think you want to take him to Tripod Seeker. Nice. 
Nice aggressive forward air to avoid the edge guard. Dang, that falling up air from Corn is so good in this matchup. Oh, we caught the air dodge with no double jump? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing you can do. And out of the center window, right? Early pull yep. window for grab. Really big. Good jab. It's a monster stage. Come down. Oh, Mr. Tech? Yes. That's nice. free money. Good stuff. Oh, good mash out on the pin. You just don't see that all too often. <laughs> yeah, most people don't mash out of that. Mm -hmm. That, of course, is what we do with. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Interesting that Cosmos even gave JR an opportunity to mash. We typically see him just pull the trigger on either the tech chase or the kick right away. There, down to up air. Spacing. Look at that. Gosh, oh, Tom. Killed. That, that's Rob, not even point. without the stun, just killed like that. Of course. Crazy. The cookie monster, bro. Have some respect. I just can't believe he got that to work. <laughs> just uh, threw that one out. This would be punishing. Oh, or not. Wasn't sure which direction he's going to be from the down the other. Corns! I don't think Corn has a bad move. I think all the moves are good. <laughs> oh, there it is. Counter, come back on stage. Run it back. Oh, the oh, delay! Another unsecable, too. This time he charges a little bit longer. Oh, man, this guy. I like how he goes to the platform. Like, just so if he gets the grab, it'll kill earlier, but damn. There's a two frame. Mm -hmm. Cosmos faces for that all the time. That was great. Yeah. Good stuff there. And Cosmos is going to go up 2 0. Yeah, JV2 this time around. Junior, they, you saw the edge guard, and that's something that's going to be a constant problem in the matchup. Because, yeah, there's going to be some times he can kind of go for the delay there. Other cases, you're gonna be too far out, and it's as simple as a rinse and repeat for Cosmos as far as that edge guard. But yeah, good stuff there. Cosmos gonna be up 2 0. I'm curious to see what JR is gonna look for this time around. Uh, I know he was looking for the Smash Bros. kind of help out. It seemed to be the case. What do you guys think he's gonna do? I think he, he goes FD. That's his I best so bet. Too. Yeah, FD Kalos is my guess. He wants those long, flat stages. Is that what we're getting? I don't like Kalos versus Corn. I think it's an amazing Corn stage. Anything with walls is going to work out for Corn because being able to pin stall at the side. Oh, yeah. So I, I think what happened there probably was he wanted to have kind of like what you're saying. And then, uh, but then that was uh, probably banned from Cosmos, right? But yeah. then, of course, he probably was like, all right, well, I'm going to go Kalos. But I agree with you, though. Kalos is a very good coin uh, stage. <laughs> I'm going to say Cosmos, Freudian slip. But uh, it, that's... Yeah. Well, that's a rough one. You know, sometimes you get really got to pay attention to how these characters are and how they operate, and really what stage may be great for your character and may not be great against that particular. Oh, don't get chopped. Very scary last chop situation. I think if Kyle was just a little bit further back, that would have covered almost every option. See, this is why like, I really like this stage for Corrin too, because if he wants to, like, he can just, like, hang on these platforms so safely. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, run, run it back, man. We in the mob, dude. Get it. Mob show, yes. <laughs> Before you run it back. I respect you. And... Oh, that's a really scary spot. Okay, no sweet spot on the down smash, but still, Cosmos is aware of that roll. Oh, my that God. That's why this is... stage is so... <laughs> Corn, but nice catch on the jump. Dang, bring it back. I, yo, I like Junior getting that confidence, man. I love that. That's what you really need. You're gonna go up oh. with the player of his team. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh but he's CDI man. in. Yeah, so, this CDI is... in to get behind. That's what you want to do a lot of times. Because uh, if they just go for the basic combo, they will have to, like, adjust. For how you're DIing. Absolutely. They can still kill you for DIing in like that or behind you, but 
um, it's at least harder than going for like the basic one like they're used to. Yep. I don't know why you messed up there. Oh yeah, no. And a, and a lot of people don't really pay attention to that, right? But a lot of times they're like, alright, well I'm just gonna run back this, this uh, general combo with B and B and I'm gonna just uh, take that damage. We saw Herod actually do it once too. The causes have been very consistent on it. It's like, okay. It doesn't seem like you understand how to deal with this DI, so I'm just gonna DI in and go from there. Alright, spin cancel, but catching the dash attack here. It's like the best position uh, JR is painting in this set so far. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cosmos gonna go to the platform. Of course. Oh, but he called it out. Nice. Yeah, that was like the best thing Cosmos could have done, really, to get past all that stuff at the ledge. Yeah. It, that, was, that was amazing because what we've seen from JR in the past is usually he kind of goes for fireball. He goes fireball, plunger, fireball, plunger, and then he just goes for there. I felt like that time around, he oh. paid attention with timing, playing with confidence, and a beautiful, beautiful up to close out that stock and that game. Like That felt like it was done with purpose. It wasn't just an auto muscle memory. It seemed there more so he was playing against his opponent. So really phenomenal stuff there by here to close that one out and like, man, let, let's see, let's see. Is, is this the beginning of something, you know, or is Cosmos just gonna close it out 3-1? Yeah, really big win there, especially on that stage. Uh, mm -hmm. That was really good coin stage. Still managed to pull the W back. Okay. Ooh, I like it. The fake outs. What's this? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, it's, it's the. Could not begin the battle. That's weird. Alright! What? Yeah, I don't know. I think. Well, Cosmos can pick from so many stages the counter pick here. Honestly, he has. Pretty much all of the stages are good. <laughs> yeah, this stage is good. The town is good. See, see what JR does here. Yeah, as you can see already, uh, Carlos is playing to the platforms to just like mix up his approaches and not make it easy for like, JR to get a free punish out of shield. Yeah, oh man. I, honestly, me personally, I would abandon this. I feel that the way that I've seen Cosmos operate in the ground that Triplex feels like so solid and consistent. I think it, it adds to his overall mobility and I don't think he missed it about that. But hey, JR is making it happen. Beautiful string right there. A good corner carry. Not able to find some time to get any late ledge trap. One thing I would be cautious, especially taking Cosmos' stage, is that that ladder combo still exists from Corrin. Where you just reset on the platforms and take him to the top platform, and then at that point, up air becomes like a real threat. But JR does have access to Tornado, which can clink. Ooh, he actually wow. got that out in time? Okay, he still died, but I can't believe his side B beat that. That looked like a free stock there. Yeah, I think I'm wondering if Pop was looking for a 2 Imagine that he would actually fly past this oh. Wow. Dude, that's okay. actually not easy to time at all to get that. <laughs> yeah, wow, good stuff. Uh oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, oh, and we know now. Ooh. Oh, dude, he had great DI too. But that was actually a good mix up from uh, JR. He didn't go for it, the extra down there. He like immediately went for the turn on up B. I don't think yeah. Kalos is ready for that. No, I don't think so at all. And then because of the DI, he's not in a good place. That was actually very, very smart right now. here. Hold that one out again. He's trying to do whatever he can to make sure he gets into a game class. Pretty, yeah. pretty good stuff. Yeah, he, go for that. Yeah. Yeah. he was ready for the delayed uh, side B this time too. Yeah, that one's hard because you can't just go ahead and just straight up like, oh, I'm gonna just hold it forever because then he's just gonna go under the center stage and then he's just gonna stuck. So he has to. Oh, oh man. 
That's that, unfortunate. That was a cyclone setup. That so if he had just gone down for a uh, full hop of cyclone, that would have been could have been game. Mm -hmm. He's letting the uh, smash his fly because Carlos has to respect him, but uh. I don't know. I don't know. Getting Carlos free punch is not be the best thing. He falls out of the last hit. That could cost him here. But oh, no reversal though. I like the idea. Okay. Oh, nice cut to jump. Not the sweet spot, but he's yeah. really inspired. Oh, too early on his edge guard. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Not gonna die. I'm surprised. Oh, double oh, jump. Double jump. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, he had it all on that double Hur jump tornado too. Hurricane Junior, bro. Yeah, that was a huge call out. Mm -hmm. If Cosmos just like fast fell under him, he could have been in a horrible position. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that could have been his life. Yeah, wow. Very great stuff there by Junior. Nice. That was clutch. I'm, I'm man. really impressed. He's like doing a lot of mix-ups to catch Cosmos off guard. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it takes in this kind of matchup too. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. You gotta, you gotta have those mix-ups on point and you gotta make the most out of your damage, right? Like, and like, again, I wanna go back to the fact that it just seems that Junior is playing in, in a lot more poised than what we saw kind of before. And that's what's gonna be needed, man. He can't drop these, he can't drop the conversions, right? You gotta be on point, you gotta wait. People are gonna change their timing at a different kind of level of play. And so it's very important for you to recognize that. Base your timing around that instead of like, this kind of standard timing you can go for. Here we go, get some nice combo. The easy damage, gonna get 48, you know, decent standard. Gets his landing with his air again, and he gets a dash attack, 65%, good stuff. Yeah. Carlos forced to uh, change his recovery to the platform to avoid that early edge guard. Oh, what an angled F smash. Caught him below the ledge. It's really deep off there. But this time he gets the tech finally. It doesn't even matter though, because Carlos is super on point with those pins, man. He's just a little bit off in your recovery right there. That's so unfair. You can literally see pins sticking out through the ledge. <laughs> yeah. But JR is a pretty good review stock there. Carlos was going on the aggressive. Oh, oh my god, I don't know why he's alive, honestly. Okay, goes yep. high this time yep. to avoid potential uh, another counter. But he does get the grab here. Carlos, not really. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, JR actually does go for that a lot. He actually does go for that back air setup too to catch the DI uh, behind. So that, that was actually that. really good. Especially for him to save it for uh, game five. Mm -hmm. There's no way Cosmos saw that coming. And uh, now we got a stock lead versus Corrin. Like, he's fine to just play this game where he's hanging back, uh, forcing Cosmos to approach. Probably the best case scenario, too, because Cosmos gets a little frustrated, screws up, oh, he's capping. Wow. What? Wait. Nice. Get the back air reset. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on this platform. Okay, Cosmos goes for the uh, pain in the scramble situation. If he screwed up there, it could be really bad. But he did get the back air, and he's uh he's still gotta be careful. He we won't die from uh like a, a grab combo here unless he gets like the down throw beat. But he yeah. he can really just like overextend and get some huge punches on uh yeah. for JR here. Oh no! I used that. He used he actually had to kill. Yeah. Get Nair, he did a Nair up B for the stock. And now Wait. this is a huge, uh -oh. this is huge. Oh, oh. That's, bad. oh. that's it! Yeah, the yeah. great reversal yeah. from JR! Let's go! Yeah, Cosmos, uh, he saw he forced him to burn all his resources there, but the counter was just, that's just 